during lunchtime, I uh, went to the uh, senior care center and then sit, um, sit with Betty and then uh, have a lunch together. And at the same senior center, I met a lady whose name is Pat. She, she always sitting on the wheelchair and then one day she called me and then she asked me, you are minister of this, this facility? And say, I know I'm not the minister of this place, but I'm uh, Holy, Cross Church, Holy Cross Japanese Canadian, Canadian Anglican Church minister. Then she said, oh, I am Anglican too. So I asked her, where are you came from? Then she said, Montreal. And her, she said, her daughter uh, lives in Vancouver. So after she, uh, she injured her back and she couldn't then she, after she couldn't work, uh, couldn't walk, not work, walk, and she came here. So uh, whenever I visited the Betty and then also uh, I visited the Pat and then give the Holy Communion and then um, we pray together. Betty, she, who cannot work, so whenever I visited uh, a senior care center, she asked me to uh, push her wheelchair to the outside of the outside to see the garden. So a couple days ago, also uh, she asked me asked me to go out to the garden. So I, I pushed her, her wheelchair and then looked the, uh, the, in the garden. When I saw the one plant has a red fruit and also leaves are still green. And then, oh, it might it remind me something. So I asked her, like here, it has a red and green, uh, no fruit here. But then I asked Pat, do you know why uh, season of uh, Christmas people decorate the green and red thing? As soon as I fin finished the question, she answered me because it means Jesus died for us. Um, actually, the green meaning is everlasting life. So everlasting life also mean is Jesus. Also red, color of the red, it's a uh, show, show the blood of Jesus who on the cross. So it uh, reminds us Jesus uh, crucified. But after I push the her wheelchair to the inside the uh, building, I meditate what's meaning the Jesus died for us. What mean to me? Or to what mean to you? That day, in the morning, I read the passage of the Bible. It's the first letter of John, chapter 1, uh, chapter 1, verse uh, 5. It said, this is the message we have heard from Christ, the God is light, in whom there is no darkness at all. Also, in the passage, God is light. And also I also meditate to the what's the meaning of the God is light. Then I remind, oh, I remember the sun.
itself. Sun itself burned himself and, and give us and light and uh, heat. Also, candle itself burned himself and show the light. So, meaning of the Jesus has died for us. We give himself to for us. Give to love to us. Our gospel today, Saint John. It was written under today gospel. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all, all might believe through him. So, the meaning of the, the God is light, and also the meaning Jesus died for us. It means give himself to someone. Also, Jesus invites us to give ourselves to some. Like he gave to himself to us. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness, testifying to the light, so that all might believe through him. Just when we put our name without um, just um, um, so same 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 Bible verse uh, instead of John. So like uh, put your name. On there, there was a person, there was a man, there was a lady, for example, uh, try, please follow me. Uh, there was a person. There was a person. Could you repeat again? Uh, repeat, uh, uh, I will say one more sentence. There was a person sent from God. There was a person sent from God whose name was whose name was put your name there Daddy Josh and you say he or she he uh, so he came as a witness he came as a witness tested by this is for to the light. To the light. So that, so that all might live through him. him. So John was sent from God to show the light of God. Also, each one of us also sent from God to testify God. So it's the same meaning we each one of us as a light and then also we can show to the people the helping of the Holy Spirit we can love each other so, uh,